in recent times phaco emulsification of cataractus lens followed by intraocular lens implantation results in excellent visual acuity however in certain situations iol turns opaque resulting in visual disturbances causes of opacification are contact of gas or air with hydrophilic iol variation in iol polishing process or breakdown of uva blocking material this video illustrates two cases of opaque iol managed in different ways our first patient had undergone phaco emulsification with hydrophilic iol in 2013 a year later he underwent vitrectomy with C3F8 gas for the retinal detachment after a brief period of clear vision he developed blurring for which he underwent futile attempts of yag capsulotomy and anterior chamber wash in view of persisting symptoms the diagnosis was revised and replacement of opaque iol was planned due to dense adhesions separation of iol from capsular bag was unsuccessful haptic was wrought in the anterior chamber Six millimeter clear corneal tunnel was made. IUL was explanted in toto. Pupil was constricted by injecting intracameral pilocarpin. Peripheral button iridectomy was performed. IUL was then inserted in anterior chamber. Since it was a vitrectomized eye, a very limited vitrectomy was required. Retropupillary fixation of iris claw lens was done by tucking in the peripheral iris tissue. Second claw of the IOL was fixed in a similar fashion. A round pupil with clear optical media and good visual acuity was achieved. A second patient presented to us with hazy vision. A year ago he had undergone a phaco emulsification with hydrophilic IOL. On examination we noted an opaque IOL with a vitreous strand in superotemporal area. an iul exchange was advised in order to retain a capsular support haptics were cut leaving behind the fibrosed ends inferior haptic was accessed through the side port and was cut with micro scissors optic of the iul was cut the two halves of the optic were explanted from the micro incision
vitreous strands were released by performing a localized vitrectomy. The fibrosed ends of haptics were retained in the bag. During implantation, the multi-piece hydrophobic spherical IUL flipped upside down. However, it was retained in the same position to avoid damage to the capsular support. Post-operatively, a relatively round pupil and improved visual acuity was noted. The explanted IULs were then subjected to scanning electron microscopy. It revealed calcium phosphate deposits in case 1 and phosphate deposits in case 2. Von Kosa staining also showed presence of calcium over IOL. Opaque IOL reduces the amount of light reaching inside the eye. It also causes diffraction of light, decreasing the visual acuity and contrast sensitivity. Thus, replacement of opaque IOLs result in clear optical media, good visual acuity, better contrast sensitivity and enhanced patient satisfaction.